Hi readers, welcome back to For the Love of Reading with me, Justin. Today is all about numbers. Did you know that we started this channel seven months ago? That's so exciting. And now we have over 50 different videos. I hope that you get a chance to go back and see the ones that you love the most or check out some new ones that maybe you missed. Since it has been seven months, in 50 videos, and now we have over 100 subscribers and thousands of views, I thought that I would take just a minute to talk about five things about me so that you can get to know me just a little bit better. The first, and this is probably not a surprise, is that I love to read. I love books. I love getting lost in books. I love meeting new characters in books. I love surprises in books. I have loved reading books for almost forever, since before I can remember, I have loved reading books. One of my favorite TV shows when I was a kid was Reading Rainbow, and that taught me a lot about loving books. And that's what I'm trying to do with this channel, is help you to fall in love with reading. Number two, I have worked with kids all around the world for more than 30 years. I've worked in churches and camps and schools all over the place, and I love working with kids. I love working with you, even on this channel. Maybe we haven't even met before, but I love that you are here and that we get this time together. Number three, I love traveling and experiencing new things and seeing the world. In fact, I have taught on five continents. I taught in Africa, in Europe, and North America, and South America, and Asia. And I love meeting new people and seeing new cultures and trying new foods. Sometimes I'm a little nervous about the foods, but I try. Number four, I have two beautiful children. My little girl is growing into a reader too, and she's starting to love books. She likes not, or she likes fiction books, excuse me. She likes mysteries and she likes graphic novels. My son loves nonfiction books. He likes to learn about the world through books. And then he's always telling me something that he read about, about the blue whale or the giant squid has the biggest eye in the world or all of these really amazing things that I didn't know and he learns through books. Number five, I love to be outside. I love hiking and camping and waterfalls and riding my bike and scuba diving and going in hot air balloons and horseback riding. I love to be outside. I love, one of my favorite things in the whole world is to sit out under the stars. I absolutely love it. And I love books. This book, Chicka Chicka 123, has always been one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. And I hope that you love it too. So let's find out together. Oh, let's count together in three, two, one, go. Hey readers, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with all of your friends and family. And now, Chicka Chicka 123 by Bill Martin Jr., Michael Sampson, and Lois Ellert. One told two, and two told three. I'll race you to the top of the apple tree. Climb, said four to five and six. Bright little numbers that join the mix. Hurry, yelled seven to number eight. Slowpoke fellow who's always late. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Here comes nine to the apple tree. Next comes ten and then eleven. Wow, these apples taste like heaven. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Hot pink 12, lucky 13, picking apples red and green. 
14, 15, can't you see? They all want to climb the apple tree. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Sixteen's next to make the scene, climbing branches with seventeen. Eighteen, nineteen, one more's twenty. Numbers, numbers, there are plenty. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Curvy, thirty, flat foot, forty, climbing up to join the party. Fifties, fine, and sixties, dandy. Seventies, hair is long and sandy. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Let's climb more, says Treetop Eighty. Higher and higher, up to ninety, until at last there's ninety-nine, and all the numbers are feeling fine, except for zero, who begins to cry. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three. Will there be a place for me? Oh no! Buzzing close, bumblebees. Zero hides behind the tree. Get out of our tree! The bumblebees shout, and all the numbers tumble out. Ninety, eighty, seventy fall, hit the ground in a free for all. Sixty, fifty, forty run, no more climbing, no more fun. Thirty next, then sweet little twenty, numbers, numbers, no longer plenty. Nineteen and eighteen, my oh my, frightened numbers jump and fly. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen more, now fourteen has hit the floor. And thirteen, two, unlucky guy, twelve had almost touched the sky. Bent up eleven, wait, where's ten? Nine, eight, seven, follow then. Twisted six and top hat five, four, three, two, one, take a dive. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three, now I know the place for me. Zero leaps into the sky. Brave little number, he's not shy. Zero lands on top of the tree, joins with ten, now one hundred you see. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three, here's the place that's just for me. All the numbers come back out higher and higher as they shout. Chicka, chicka, one, two, three, zero's hero of the number tree. What a fun story. I love how all of the different numbers had a place on the number tree. Maybe zero wasn't sure at the beginning or at the middle even if he had a place, but at the end he found a wonderful place just for him. I wanted to remind you a couple more things before we go today. Remember that there is a story just like this where I get to talk to you every Monday afternoon. And there is a bedtime book that comes out every Friday afternoon. I know that my two children love to listen to that book as they're getting ready for sleep. It helps us calm down. It brings some books and some imagination into our, our minds right before we go off and dream. I love those books, and I hope that you get a chance to see those and share them with your friends and family. Well, as you can see, I'm in one of my favorite places, the library, and I am going to go and find a good book. I hope that you go find a good book. Well, sit down and enjoy for the love of reading. See you next time.